Purse, it's Gainer again. Uh, I've been having a play with a new hostess set that I got last week. It's called Very Vintage. Oh, I love, I'm loving this flower. It's absolutely perfect. This uh, vintage doily, this beautiful fern. I'm loving this, but it comes with a bundle in the new catalogue with a punch that matches, but it's a tin of cards and, a bun and you can only get the punch with the bundle, which I think is a little bit naughty of stamping up because the bundle's £42 and yet they don't sell the punch separate, so... But uh, I'm not going to get the punch because I've worked out. Once you've stamped this image, it works out roughly to be one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And if you took, it may be if you did one and five eighths by one and five eighths, stamp your image, cut it out giving you a border and then just take a circle punch and nip the corners out on there, there and there and you still get your label then without having to buy the punch. So unless you want to spend £42 and get it, that's fine by me but uh, I'm going, I've gone for for you and one of the best things in life is you for this card and I've done it quite shabby chicy vintage style which I don't normally do but I'm getting into quite fast and um, this is my card it's absolutely beautiful I've cut out, fussy cut out the flowers which is from a sheet of the designer series paper in the share what you love bundle or love what you do or what what you do I don't know what it's called <laughs> it's called uh, Love what you do, the, the stamp set, and it's sh share what you love. I think it is the designer series paper. So I've cut my flowers out of there. I've used the organza ribbon, which for some reason will not stick. I've used glue dots. I've used Tombow, and I just can't. It will stay for so long, but then it just falls off. But I'll rectify that. I use some double sided tape. I did use early uh, soft suede. No, early espresso. Oh, sorry to. No, I use soft suede, but I used early espresso marker pen to colour the the ribbon, which takes a slightly little bit longer. But this time I thought it, it's a bit too dark, so I've used crumb cake instead for this one. So that's my bow. I've cut the flowers out already. Um, I've done my, this is the largest of the stitched circles. <clears throat> and I think that sentiment just says it all. One of the best things in life is you. It's just perfect. We've got our pearl eyes doily, half a one, and we've sponged around everything. I've even done the inside and just popped a few bit of sponging. I have used, I think this is chocolate chip because it's retiring soon. But before we start the card, can I just say I've had some absolutely gorgeous happy mail today. Look at this beautiful, beautiful dye. Absolutely gorgeous. And the word love and this stunning little flower over the bow. And it says, hi Stella, well I have really enjoyed this challenge and want to thank everyone who has taken part. Well done everyone. I know my cards are not as good as some. Stop saying that man because your cards are outstanding my darling. But it has made, it made me push myself to do the YouTube channel. So thank you everyone. I also want to thank Lorraine. She is the superstar also. You are too, Stella. Love you to bits. All my love, Mandy. Gertie. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. This is beautiful, my darling. And, oh, look. Bless your soul. Handmade by Mandy Garforth. And if you want to go and see Mandy's videos, she is Craft with Gertie. Craft with Gertie. So, look her up. Go over and give her some love. Press the subscribe button. And also my gorgeous Caroline Pen Pendleton. She started doing YouTube videos. Excellent work, my darling, both of you. Um, and Caroline's channel is... Uh, let me see. <laughs> I have to find it. Uh, oh, come on. My computer's on a national go slow today. Let me refresh. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait there, it's coming. 
Uh, come on, notification. And it is right there. Oh, I'll get to it in a minute. Gosh, it's gone all the way down the bottom of my list. Uh, let me... There it is. Let me just go... Uh, her name is just Caroline Pendleton. So if you go over to... If you type that name in, she's got a big purple C as her icon. There's no picture. But go over and give her some love, people. She makes amazing cards, just as good as Mandy. And Mandy, you make fabulous cards too. Um, so, yeah, we're, I'm going to be starting off with Georgie Burns soon, hopefully. We'll be getting her crafted as well. Yay! So, right, I'm going to show you a card one more time, which I absolutely love. Oh, I can't remember if I wrote the measurements down. We'll do them as we go along. I am using this stamp set, like I said. I have all my pieces here and let me grab some grid paper it's a bit mucky but I'm only doing it for the inches it's just so I can uh, show you the measurements now this is three and seven eighths by two this one I think is exactly the same yeah this is three and seven eighths by two and this tiny little piece, believe it or not, fit, just fits in there. Just tucks away behind there. So you don't really need a lot. So you can use your scraps for this. And this is one inch by two inches. Like I say, this is the largest circle from the stitch to circle framelits. And just half a doily, which is going to, well, it actually is going to sit under there. So you can't see all of it. Beautiful. In fact, what should we? I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap this around. I'm going to have that one going that way this time. This one going this way. I don't think. And we could even have that piece that way. But I do like those gorgeous little leaves. So that's how it's going to tuck in on our card. Whereas we had it the other way around on the other one. You're going to need two pieces of Whisper White then, which both me measure three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Like I say, use the largest of the stitch circles. So I'm going to turn this back over now because it's my mucky side. <laughs> I'm just going to fold and burnish my card. I do like to do this on the trimmer, but hey ho. There we go, I think that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, yay, that turned out quite nice. I'm gonna grab my triple punch. This is for the inside piece. Just gonna pop it into the corner and punch. And I'm just gonna pop it in this side as well and punch. And then when we sponge, I'm going to sponge in there as well. So if you were doing this in silver glimmer paper or silver foil sheets, gold and the red and the dazzling dark, keep those perfect to go inside a shaker card. You know, you don't waste your little bits at all. I'm going to have a swig of my coffee. Oh, hmm. So I'm fetching in my soft suede, even though I'm not using soft suede, I'm using chocolate chip. I think it'd be a little bit too dark. So I'm contrasting with colours before we uh, lose them. There it is. And see, I've even pulled the early espresso one out. And it's not that one I want. It's... Uh... It's crumb cake. There we go. There's the soft suede. I'm going to open up my soft suede and I'm just going to sit and sponge every piece except for the doily. Don't need to sponge that. Well, sponge dauber it. Now I'm going to do the outside of my card as well. 
you could rag the sides up, give them a rough look, you know. It's a very subtle colour, but it's tone on tone, that's what we want, so we just need to darken these edges up. You'll be watching this probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I am actually filming this Saturday afternoon, which is when Mandy's card came this morning, so it came on Saturday. Because I do things on schedule, and I just keep putting them forward and putting them forward, you get to see this when I uh, publish it. So I think that is just perfect. Did you see that gorgeous sponging? You can keep going over, have it darker or lighter. Use your actual colour of the card. But I think that would have been too dark. So we've done that one. I'm just going to... And I don't care how rough I am with this. You can have sponging down here. You just just need to darken all these edges. And I'm not dabbing, if you know what I mean, into the ink because it's on white on white. Um, and you could add a swirl of it just to give it that vintagey look. So when we stamp that image now on there, it's going to really pop off the page. And now I'm going to dip and dab. When I can pick these bits up. Bet you are busy now. Well, like I can say, I'm filming this Saturday. So it was a royal wedding Saturday. She looked absolutely amazing. Bless her soul. She didn't need no detail on that dress. It was just perfection. Now this paper is just the opposite of this. You could choose any bits of paper out of there. But I thought those leaves... With this beautiful vintage punch uh, stamp set would look amazing together. And I've never really been a shabby chic. I've been a goth. I used to look black. I used to wear black and everything when I was younger. I still keep my hair black now. And I won't wear any other trousers unless they're black unless they're me short then I've got their grey <laughs> so you could stay I'm still a bit of a goth I like blue uh, blacks dark smoky eyes and brown lipsticks instead of pinks I don't, I'm not a pinky person Hubby's managed to tap up <laughs> tap up Top up his vitamin D today. He's been helping his mum and dad put a greenhouse up. So, well, helping his father. His mum can't do anything. So now I'm just going to grab mine. I'm not dibbing for this one. I'm just sponging around those. And I tell you what, look, it makes a great little stencil. Isn't that beautiful? So you could punch a few of those out along your card. And use it as a stencil as well. So it's just a matter of a lot of the sponging for this one. And you can sit. I will fussy cut a couple of the flowers out to show you how easy they are. But I have already cut the ones I want for my card. And don't worry if you get it on your fingers and you're smudging it down here. Because it's supposed to look old and vintage. You could have used uh, Berry Vanilla as well. You don't have to use Whisper White. I just love Whisper White for stamping on. It's just gorgeous. So that's the inside of our card. And now it's a matter of sponging the last bit of our Whisper White. And if you notice, I'm not dipped in my ink. Wait till you see these images when they're stamped. They're amazing. Just beautiful. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I love sponging. 
I didn't sponge my flowers either. I don't think I needed to. There's three there together. Do it, have I made? Could we sponge this doily maybe just on the ends? Yeah, we could. Look, you can even use this as a stencil. Look, isn't that beautiful? So just sponge the ends of the doily as well, which is a pearlized doily. It will take a little bit longer to dry. So let's come in. Let's do the inside first. And I'm keeping my scrap because some of them I'm going to stamp off. So shavings. <laughs> I've got the drops. It's... So this is for you. And I'm going to test. It's a bit slanty, see. That's better. And I'm just leaving that in the centre of the card for you. That way you've got plenty of space for your message. So, now for my zippy cloth. Which makes a hell of a... I, can, I should undo with that really at the start of a video. Not uh, halfway through. But this... I soaked these overnight in, you know, the vanished gold. And uh, a little bit of soap powder. And it was perfect. And they smell beautiful. You have to be sure to give them a good rinse afterwards. So look at this vintage flower here. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. I'm going to show it you. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm going to do the opposite corners this time. And I'm not even, I just stamp first, second and third generation. And I'm going to use the, the vintage doily that comes with this set as well. Absolutely just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm cleaning my stamps as I'm going. I've got to show you this one as well. It's just absolutely stunning. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. And that is going down there and down there. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so pretty. You could leave that full strength um, in the centre of a card and use that as your centrepiece. You could literally... Oh, I've just thought of something now. Oh, now my juices are flowing. <laughs> so I'm going to fetch my circle in. And for this lovely sentiment, I'm going to do this and I'm going to pop it towards this side more than anything. Because my flowers are going on around this side anyway. Cleaning my stamps as I go. I'm going to come back in with this gorgeous doily. Just gonna do some light. Oh, that is absolutely mega gorgeous. I didn't do it on this one, but look at the difference. That is absolutely stunning. Love it. It's mad when you do one thing and then ideas pop in your head, and while you're teaching somebody else to do something, you can literally change it up and have something totally different yet again. And it's just beautiful. So I'm popping away my soft suede, fetching my pieces back in, and now we're going to build this card up. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of here. I'm going to have one in the centre. Peel them off ready. And this is one of those cards you could just send to anybody. 
you know, thank as a thank you, as just thinking of them. It's just a divine card. Absolutely stunning. So let's get my tombow. Look at the back of there, bless. Good job it's going on the card, isn't it? And they always say less is more. I love the fact that when you're using the Tombow, you can get that wiggle space. Looks beautiful. Just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Stuck. Popped it out of the way too much. <laughs> I don't care that it's bled onto the back either. And it's just a matter of building up this beautiful, beautiful card. I just wish we had something more vintage like gems because I have uh, I've got these. But they metal and I don't want them poking out the back. They're stunning, absolutely stunning though. So... I put this one across there. I would, I'm just wondering which way my leaves are going. But yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? So I'm just going about here. But I also don't want to press down yet because I want to glue. My doily in a place. So I've sponged my little doily, and that is just going just underneath. And then I can press that down then. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now this piece. I'm going to glue this piece at the same time. So I need to straighten that up a little bit. I'm not pressing on that yet because I want it straight. Seems a pity to cover up that beautiful stamped image. So, there we go. That's looking fab to me. Got gluey bits on my fingers. Now we need to position this. I want to still see a little bit of that, but I also want to cover It. Well, I need a little bit showing at the bottom. Whoa, that's not straight. That's better. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So, with this paper, it's just so easy to cut these out. I mean, just follow the guide around each clump. I mean, I don't want this one because it's off the edge. So I'm just going to cut this one out for you and show you. Let me just let your scissors do the cutting. I'm just guiding it round. I'm getting quite used to this fussy cutting. And just follow that pattern. Snip off the rest. How quick is that to cut these flowers out? Just perfect. And I don't know what it, this I'm not going to be using on the card, but let's see what it would look like sponged around the edge. Just a light sponging. 
I think that's quite cute actually. I think that's turned out. I think I will do that. I've got three attached together here. And perhaps I and I've got two single ones. So I would use four on the other one. So I might use this as a bundle. And maybe this one as well. Oh, let's sponge a couple more. It just takes the rawness off the edges. Giving you that little bit. Yeah, it looks so much better. Oh, see, this card, absolutely gorgeous, but we didn't dab anything in the centre and we didn't sponge the flowers, which is a beautiful card, but I think this one is starting to come out of its shell and look a bit more gorgeous, if you know what I mean. Turn my dab around. It just ages those flowers a little bit. And it takes that white rawness off the edge. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let's get rid of our bits. I'm not going to use all those, but... Fold away my scratch paper now, because I don't need that. Sorry, I just, I, I'm a, I'm one of these that goes to town. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of here as well. I've got to have a swig of my coffee. Mmm. I'm going to pop three on there. And I'm going to have another two, I think. I might put the... I'm going to put a dimensional on all of them because I might shove one on the other card. So instead of looking at just four flowers, we've got five, which is your odd number. I'm going to take the backs off. And I'm going to start with this about here. Whoops. I'm going to have one there, and I'm going to have that one there, doubled over. That is gorgeous now. <gasps> love, 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 love. <laughs> so this one, I know it's been sponged, but I'm just going to pop that on right there. On my card so we've even that one up a little bit as well so we've got this beautiful card oh my gosh it's gorgeous so i'm going to add a little diamante in this rhinestone in the center so we've kept our uh, odd numbers i'm just going to dot three elsewhere So seven. I'm going to keep it at seven. Now I'm going to fetch in my beautiful ribbon for the bow. I did do it on the bow maker, but I'm going to try and do it freehand. Which is absolutely cute as a button. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to open that bow up a little bit more and pull. Oh, I love that. That is just so cute. I'm going to just pull that a little bit tighter. That is going to go on the end of my, oh my gosh, it's stunning. So what I'm going to do, I've got this tiny one inch 
at one eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to cut a little strip because I don't want my bow to fall off like it is doing on the other card. And if I come around the back, making sure it's on the tape, you won't be able to see the back of the tape. But you need to make sure it's glued. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to add my gorgeous bow on there. Mine will not cut through ribbon. They never have done. I don't know. I, no, I'm not saying that they don't buy them because they don't cut through ribbon. Mine just have never cut through ribbon. So, but they do. They do for most people. So, please don't think I'm dissing anything. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to leave them tails pretty long as well. Oh my word, I love it. Just beautiful. And they've got the shimmer on the actual flowers. So there's no need even for Winker Stella. But this is the one we've just done together, which I'm so chuffed with, believe it or not. You could then, I know there's no ink left, but you could just come along and dot this doily on the inside even. Um... You know, I didn't do it on the there, but I should have done it onto there. But I think that looks so much better. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. They're, they're definitely too dark. So it's now decided to stick, which is great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the one we've just done together now. This is the one I did uh, earlier. I do hope you give them a go and I hope you enjoyed the card. And a thumbs up and a share would be brilliant. And please, if you've not subscribed already, please press this button in the corner and then go for the little bell straight after. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. But until next time, hope you enjoy. Blah, 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 blah. See you soon. Bye.